Automated functions such as emails, documents, and task assignment are created and triggered based upon status points on the sales path. Within one funnel, you can have multiple sales paths. This can be useful in multiple scenarios. If you have domestic customers versus international customers, hot leads versus cold leads, existing customers versus prospects, and many more. Segmentation and targeting. You can manage customers and leads based upon their position on the sales path. Daisy chaining allows you to link multiple sales paths together and route your prospects based upon conditional actions that they take. Sales paths can be updated manually with a simple point and click on the graphic or the status will index automatically based upon the completion of the tasks at a specific status point. By default, every funnel will have a sales path assigned to it. So let me show you how to manage that default sales path and how to add additional sales paths to a specific funnel. We'll come down to Funnels and Tags again, and then into Manage Sales Path. Now it's important to recognize that every sales path inside every funnel is completely independent. So when you are setting up a sales path, make sure you are highlighting the correct funnel to ensure you are working on the correct sales path for the correct funnel. Keep in mind that regardless of what happens in one sales path, it will not affect the sales paths in these other funnels. These are independent products or services that you are attempting to sell. So even if you win a sale or lose a sale in one funnel, it will not affect the other funnels. What does make a difference are the conditional responses that occur in a sales path when you have multiple sales paths daisy chained together. In other words, winning a sales path or losing a sales path will affect where that customer is sent, whether it's to a one condition or to a loss condition, and then the sales path that is daisy chained to each of those conditions. But for the purpose of this video, let's just focus on setting up one sales path per sales funnel. So the first thing I'll do is come into Edit. And I can again change the name of this sales path to anything that I want it to be. And now you'll see that there is a check mark already in the default section. Because every funnel has to have a sales path, and there is only one sales path within this funnel, this sales path by default has to be the default. So we'll hit Submit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second sales path to this funnel. And I'm going to call this one International. Now because I have two sales paths, I can now choose whether I want the other one to remain the default or to set the new sales path as my new default. I'm just going to leave Domestic as the default and hit Submit. And now you see in the tabs that I have a domestic and an international sales path. And here's a handy feature that you can use once you start to build up a sales path that has a lot of automated tasks in it. All you have to do is come here to this icon, click on it, and you can copy this sales path from this funnel to any other funnel. This can be a huge time saver when managing your sales paths within your funnels. In the next video, I'll show you how to add status points to your sales path and how to start adding automated tasks so that you can start to automate your business system.